Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The leaks just went up a notch in EAFC 24. We have two massive icon SBCs that are coming to this game very soon, and we have a lot of questions. Are these coming before Team of the Year? Are they coming after? How much will they cost? Which version of these icons will we be getting in SBCs? We're going to unpack all of that today, and of course, Today's the day we think that Team of the Year warm-up is going to be starting. All the Versus cards exit packs. It's the end of the Versus promo. But are we getting stuff today related to Team of the Year? We'll talk about that because we don't have any clues right now. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content. We're going to start with not the SBCs first. We're going to start with a compensation situation which we talked about on Friday night when the promo was released. We noticed that Alex Tellez was shown on all the graphics, but he was not in packs. And EA said, oh yeah, we messed up. He was not in packs when he was supposed to be. Um, and they said that players who received the base gold item. So basically, if you packed gold Alex Tellez from Friday at 6 p.m. until Saturday at 6 p.m., um, when he was shown on the loading screen but not in packs, you will be compensated. Now, it's a really interesting situation because it's like, uh, which version of Alex Tellez do they give you? Because there's two versions in packs. Well, really, I think what they're going to have to do is give the packs back. It's a really weird situation where usually if you pack somebody who's supposed to be a promo card, uh, then they just give you the promo card that you were supposed to get, right? Well, Tellez, of course, is supposed to have the fire and the ice. So I think what they have to do is give you your packs back. And that could create some more supply hitting the market whenever they do this compensation. Now, I don't think it's going to come in like two or three days. It's probably going to take a little while. Although the last compensation they did came pretty fast. But really, it's hard to know if you were impacted by this unless you looked at your club or remember packing a Tellez. Or again, not many people were opening packs anyway. So I don't think it's really going to impact a ton of people. But it could impact the market a little bit with some supply. Uh, depending on how many packs were opened that add Alex Tellez's gold card in them. So just watch out for that. That'll be coming soon. Also yesterday, we had the Pro Live Cards Group B was in action, and we actually have four upgrades in coming for these cards, which is cool. Now, I love this tweet from VFU team, kind of putting them all together and bunching them up. Willian is getting the biggest upgrade of them all. He's going from an 89 to a 90. One, because his pro clutched up. He will get, be getting a playstyle plus as well because he's moving on into the um, tournament. Kind of done with the group stages. He advanced to the tournament. And Van Du Boomen's pro, Fizzin, I think is his name, moves on into the tournament as well. So both of those cards are still live, right? Willian and Van Den Boomen are still live, and they're getting an upgrade or two. And then Locatelli and Tovan are both getting upgrades as well, but their cards are no longer live, right? Tovan going up to an 89, Locatelli going up to an 89 as well. I mean, EA took a hot minute to upgrade those cards uh, last week. I think Malin was upgraded on Wednesday of last week, if I remember correctly. So um, I would have to imagine that it would be around the same time this week for these cards. EA seems to be behind, guys. I don't know what it is. Since the new year, I know there's probably a lot going on with the buildup into Team of the Year, but they just seem to be behind on like upgrading these cards, tweeting out what is going to be coming in the game. Uh, like, you know, the live tweets that we were getting on Mondays about what content was upcoming. Uh, as you see, like Willian had a crazy price movement yesterday, if any of you guys saw this. He was like 800K, then went to one mil, then went back down, and then his pro clutched up, and he went back above a mil. Um, but for these cards and their upgrades, it just that's one of the things that EA has been lacking on recently. This is the content tweet from last week that still shows on the website. They didn't tweet anything out, put anything on Instagram about what content is upcoming. They're just it's seeming a little bit slow right now, man. But I get it. It's busy times, um, and I'm sure there's some things changing uh, because Team of the Year is on the horizon, so a lot of stuff to do. But... We're hoping for that communication to stay steady and consistent with things. Now, let's go into SBC content that dropped yesterday because it was a pretty quiet day. Let's be completely honest. It was, it was a pretty quiet day, which was expected. And we had upgrade packs like also was expected, but we didn't have the ones that we thought we were going to get. First of all, we have an 85 plus double, which we can do three times a day. This is definitely a pack that is like, hey, you should save this for team of the year, right? An 84 requirement in this one 284s and an 82 and then an 83 rated squad it's almost the same price and requirements as a 83 plus team of the week player pick except you're getting 285 rated players of course they are untradeable this is a pack that a lot of people are stacking for team of the year and prices on fodder went up right away at content yesterday as people were doing that and then the 82 plus upgrade as well uh this is nice for getting guaranteed fodder like the 82s and 83s i've opened one of these yesterday and got an 86 robertson walkout 
the weight doesn't seem that incredible and it only requires seven players but you only get one player back so i'm kind of right now mixing in a couple of 82 plus upgrades with the winter wild cards crafting upgrade as well but honestly guys with the versus cards going out of packs today I don't even know if it's it doesn't feel like it's worth opening packs but i guess if you're still crafting to try to get 82s and threes and fours to craft into other upgrades you could still continue to open some of those lower level packs like with the daily gold upgrade and stuff so yeah i don't know those upgrade packs as you can tell in footbin are not super highly liked 13 percent upvote for the 85 plus double i mean 85s in the market are 5,000 coins a pop right or five and a half k so you're getting half the value back of the sbc of the 22k you're getting back from it and then the 82 plus upgrade 82 are 750 800 coins and you're spending 4k you need to at least hit an 85 rated card out of each of those 82 plus upgrades to quote unquote break even so yeah those are there they're not amazing but they're at least there we got to get more of the upgrade packs and hopefully today does change that now with fodder we have mentioned it already i want to talk about these prices straight away because yesterday at content there were prices that started going up right away, specifically on the 83s with that requirement for the 85 double. A lot of people want to craft those. These instantly went from 1K to like 1.2 to 1.3. 82s starting to slide up as well. 84s, I think people were getting sales on 84s at like 2.5K. Now there's they're somewhat back down a little bit. Yeah, you can see Ben Acer was 2.5K right around the content drop. Stuff as we've gotten to the late night, early morning hours today on Tuesday on fodder has dipped back down. 85s are at 5.1K. I wonder if that has to do with weekend league rewards, people finishing those. And then also there is a couple of pretty big tradable packs in the store. But with no promo cards and packs after today's content, and probably that means no lightning rounds as well, I would imagine that, again, it's just the time of the week where these cards should continue to go up. Again, the supply is running out now, and it's more demand than supply again for the next couple days in this week. So fodder should be doing pretty nice. I still have a bunch of 87s that I bought on bid. Um, these cards, the high-rated fodder, looks a little bit low as well. I picked up some 90s. We'll talk about that here in just a little bit too. Uh, but guys, fodder, if you have it, is just lazy list it hold on to it and use it in the SBCs you want to use it in. But that's probably the place right now where people are buying cards the most. The market seems really, really dead. Like I have a lot of coins and cards that I'm trying to flip right now and I'm like barely getting sales. I know you have to be in the right places. You can get lazy sales. There's still some demand, but it's tough out here, man. Like you look at a lot of prices on cards and it just seems to be like slowly dropping. And we're going to talk about a little bit more of when is the, the time to buy players for your team that you want during team of the year in today's video too in a little bit. So we're definitely going to talk about that because it feels like we're getting closer. I'm just waiting for a little bit more panic and wondering what is going to make that panic happen. So that's all of yesterday's content. Let's move into today. Well, with a leak from yesterday, but stuff that is relevant to this game right now. And it is the Icon SBC leaks. All right. These are big time names, man. I mean, massive, massive names. The first one is Cafu. I'm sure a lot of you guys saw the leak. You saw, of course, the thumbnail to this video, right? Cafu has been leaked to come as an SBC. Now, the biggest question with this is which versions of these cards are we going to be getting Cafu and Zico? Maybe even the more hyped one is Zico, right? Zico's got the Centurion's Icon card, uh, which is like 2.4, 2.5 million, I think. Yeah, 2.4 million on the market. This card looks absolutely incredible. A new icon this year, five star, five star. If you haven't used him or played against him, like he's just unfreaking believable how good he is in game. He's kind of like, I guess, Jarzinho of last year, but almost different in his own way. Dead ball plus play style with. I mean, dead ball plus is good, but with 98 free kick accuracy, that's insane. Just the stats all around being 5-5, five, five, absolutely incredible card. And we know about Cafu, right? Absolutely insane. Now, here's the thing. Yesterday with the leaks, it was the base Zico and the base Cafu that were shown in the image for the leaks. Are the promo versions too good? Are they more expensive than what EA wants to drop as SBCs? That's the question that we have. Since it's leaked with the base versions, that is what everybody is setting their expectations as. Are we actually going to be getting the base versions of these cards? And if they're being leaked like that, then honestly, guys, I think it might be the base versions. And that is a little bit disappointing and upsetting. But I mean, man, if you think about it, just in general, how crazy the icon species have been this year. It's been mental. We have a Eusebio. We've had a Hullet. We have a Zidane. All available right now. A Maldini, for goodness sake. Like, that is an insane amount of icon species. I'm not saying that that matters for like how they're choosing which versions of the icons that we have here but what i am saying is if you want zico in your team 
I think you're happy this is the base version and not the Centurions because that means you're probably going to have to pay a million coins less of SPC fodder and work a whole lot less to get this squad done, right? But also you can take a look at it as and say, yo, I want the 90 pace Zico instead of the 89. The difference between uh, this Zico and the uh, special one, one pace, one shooting, one passing, one dribbling, I think it's two, three defense and two physical. Very, very small difference uh, on those cards. There, I don't believe there's a difference on the um, playstyles as well. They're exact same in terms of playstyles. Same thing for Cafu. Like Cafu's base card is 700,000 coins, or it's actually lower than that now, I think. He's like 630k. He's been dropping off a lot. Uh, the difference on Cafu is plus one pace, two shooting, two passing, one defense, one physical, and uh, one dribbling. So very small changes there. And then he does have the whipped pass and the slide tackler playstyle. So that is a little bit of a difference on his card. Um, and then, yeah, no other changes apart from that. So the differences are small, but really when you look at the price, I think there's an argument for that it's okay that it's the base version because it's going to be a lot cheaper to craft, right? 1.2 mil versus 600K. The only problem is this, is this is team of the year, guys, right? And yes, these are absolutely insane icons. And I love the fact that we're getting the opportunity at least to do SBCs for these cards. But I don't think EA is going to give us a nice price for a lot of these because this is team of the year and so many packs are going to be open. Packs in the store, packs in SBCs, packs in objectives. People have been saving packs for months, right? I think that EA are going to know that. And yes, there's been a leak. So Zico has dropped from 1.4 mil all the way down to 1.2 where he is. Look at this. 1.4 down to 1.2. Rebounding a little bit right now after the big time panic has happened. I don't think this SBC is going to be cheaper than like 1.2 or 1.3 mil just because EA know how much fodder we're going to have. Think about the flashback SBCs. I remember the flashback SBCs last year, right? Where we had Ramos, where we had Sadio Mane during team of the year. And the flashback Ramos, everybody was like, oh my goodness, that SBC is so expensive. I was in that boat. I was saying that he was way too expensive, right? He ended up being one of the best center backs in the game and everybody still did him because you had the fodder to craft during team of the year with all the packs that were out. They gave us packs and objectives. And what have we known about this game this year? There's packs everywhere. If you want to do the work and go get them, you can go do the crafting upgrades and get insane packs. You can rip through the season, all the objectives that we get and get a lot of fodder. It just takes work. And right now, probably not a lot of us want to grind that hard because yes, we want to save packs for team of the year, but gameplay wise, it's like, oh my goodness, the content's not that good right now. And this maybe just adds a little bit of frustration to that thinking about the SBCs not being that cheap, but I'm just telling you to prepare for a Zico that is not that much cheaper than the one on the market. And same thing with the cat food. Now, the next question is, when, right? When are these SBCs going to be released? Last year, before team of the year dropped, we had daily icon player SBCs. And we were getting SBCs like Cafu, uh, or sorry, not Cafu, Kaka. That was one of the only ones that I remember. I remember a, a, a prime Kaka SBC that was dropped last year. We're getting way better SBCs this year, albeit a little bit expensive. But like, again, the Eusebio, the Zidane, the Ashley Cole. I mean, that SBC to me is still overpriced and not good. But Maldini, right? We've already named off the insane ones. Add a Zico and a Cafu to this, pretty crazy. I could see these SBCs coming pre-team of the year, just because, of course, that would be another way that EA could drain coins. Like, even though it makes no sense to really start an SBC like that until after you're able to open all of your saved up packs and to get crafting via the upgrade packs during team of the year, as a lot of people will probably wait to complete them until then, right? I think EA could drop these before then, just because it would impact people's coins and stuff on this game, right? People see an SBC for Zico, they go do the Zico. They start buying the cards, they buy the fodder to do it. And that's why I went out yesterday and I picked up some 90 rated because I, this is not a guarantee that these SBCs come out. But I was like, wait a second, Messi is one of the top um, rated or highly rated cards, highly expected cards to be in team of the year. If he's in team of the year this Friday, when the attackers come into packs, that means that his gold version is out of packs. Um, so I went out and picked up some of his 90 rated cards specifically, but I think 90 rated, if we do get a Zico, if we do get a Cafu, I think they could end up going up a few thousand coins. And if you get them on the right bid prices, if you get them at like 50K flat, which is what I was paying for them, you might be able to get sales at like 58, 59,000 coins, maybe 60K on a couple of lazies. And boom, you make some coins before this weekend. And also, I remember back to how fodder prices moved during Black Friday, when we had all that stuff going on, what moved the most? It was the 90s. It was the 91s, right? So they're going to get supplied a lot during team of the year, which is probably why I'm not going to hold them heading into team of the year. But 
especially for some of those that are going out of packs, it might not be a bad idea with fodder being in such demand that it is. If we get those SBCs this week, these could go up a little bit. I'm not saying it's a guarantee because we might not get these SBCs this week. That's also possible. This could be an early leak and they might not be out until next week during team of the year. And when that's all in session, because we all know that we have so many icon SBCs right now. So that's the biggest leak that is happening in this game right now. Now, speaking of team of the year today, of course, we got the versus cards. They're going out of packs. That leaves us all questioning with no loading screen, nothing else, not even leaks telling us what's happening today on this game. We're all just assuming that team of the year warm up series starts today. If team of the year warm up series or nothing like 83 plus packs for the position specific cards that will be dropped in team of the year, attacker, midfielder, defender, the way they release the team of the year cards, if nothing like that comes today, I think a lot of us are going to be like, what in the world, EA? What are you doing? Like, let's build the hype for team of the year. We are ready. But I think something's got to come today, guys. Watch out for leaks before content. I think there's a possibility for some of that there. But we are all very expectant of a team of the year warm up today. Um, if you've stocked fodder in your club for SBCs, if you've got 82s to 85s to 86s even, I think you're going to be safe. I think that would cover just about everything that could be coming out today. Um, informs is another part of the fodder market that people have been asking about. Informs are dropping because they're just not in demand as much, which is crazy. EA is kind of like, yo, we've made informs go up these last few weeks. Now hold this while they don't go up this week, right? I mean, they're 29,000 coins right now for informs, 29.5 on Snipe. So... Um, yeah, we need more SBCs for these to go up. Uh, they definitely could. There's still a last chance for these. It's those 85 plus attacker, midfielder, defender upgrades, specifically the 85 plus times three attacker upgrade. That's in the code. Remember, that is possible to come out. If that drops, I think it might require an inform. That's probably the best chance. Last year, it required two. I don't think they do that this year with informs 30K, but nonetheless, that's our chance for informs to rise. So invest at your own risk there, but make sure your club is stocked with fodder so that you are ready to go for those SBCs. And if you're still holding fodder and if your transfer list looks a lot like mine with a lot of gold players on it that you're listing, keep those lazies listed. Keep those cards up on the market because that is the place in the market right now that there is the most demand, which is crazy to say, but it is. Now, let's talk about the rest of the market. Meta cards. I know a lot of you guys are like, yo, Nate, we're getting to that time of the year where don't we usually see a market rise? during team of the year after team of the year on out of packs cards especially if they get a team of the year and they're really expensive and stuff like that can we talk about market for a bit and yeah i want to talk about market for a bit because this is something that if you are looking to buy a player for your team like let's say it's a winter wild cards maybe a uefa heroes maybe it's a team of the group stage like musiala or something right if you're looking to buy a player from your team that's an out of packs promo card we're getting to that time where you got to really start looking at these prices. And first of all, let's start off with the versus cards that are going out of packs today. Am I investing in any of these going out of packs? No, I'm not, right? Could these cards be really good investments this weekend, next week? abso freaking lutely right? This Rodri, if he doesn't get into team of the year, I'm going to predict this right now. If this Rodri does not get into team of the year, this card is probably going to go up a couple hundred K and this Rodri might end up hitting like high 1. Point mil, like 1.7 mil. If team of the years are really expensive, this card's disgusting, all right? And it's a Rodri card with plus 28 pace. Like, Rodri never gets used like this. I hear this card's absolutely nuts in game as well with his play styles, his play style plus. This card's stupid rare. So I'm not telling you to invest right now because if there's not, I mean, yeah, he's 1.1 mil and he dropped off yesterday, but we're not really in a panic. This isn't a market crash. We're sitting in a market low, but we haven't had a day of panic. And that's what I'll be waiting for. Um, and I don't think that most of these cards are going to go up much, if at all, out of packs. Some of them might just a little bit because of rarity, kind of like we had with the Team 1. But some of the Team 1 cards have already dropped off already too. Look at Ramos. He was 800K. Now he's 660. Marta is down. Neymar, Kamavinga. A lot of those cards, Firmino, 85K. He was 120. So I think there's more drops uh, on these cards because they're overpriced anyway. A lot of the Versus cards are overpriced because they are rare. But them being rare means they could be good buys if they drop down a little bit more and for the rest of the market, let's say you want to buy like a card like winter wild cards. VVD is a great example of a card that will be a great buy most likely before team of the year really gets going in the panic because team of the year VVD is going to be stupid expensive Two play style. Plus is what we would be expecting. 
if he gets a team of the year. If VVD doesn't get a team of the year, then this card's going to go back to 2 mil plus anyway, because that would mean that the best center back in the game, this is his best card, and everybody's going to want it, right? So this would be a card you'd want to watch this week for sure. His low point was 1.45 last week on Thursday. He went up a little bit, 1.6. See how fast that bounce was with just like no content and waiting for team of the year? This card very easily goes back above 1.6, 1.7 in my opinion because it's rare. But if you're looking for a card like this, even for a rare card on a lower budget, I want to show you some graphs of last year's Winter Wild Cards team. Rafinha, right? Or sorry, Rafael Varane, not Rafinha. This was the low point last year for a lot of those really meta out-of-pack special cards. It was the Wednesday and Thursday before Team of the Year actually started. So like this week, Wednesday, Thursday, and there was some panic, right? Not a ton, right? We had initial panic of 600K on Varane. Then they went up just like this, this exact same thing is happening right now in this game. The cards went up a little bit, 650, and then he went back down Wednesday, Thursday, and then boom, Team of the Year starts on Friday the 20th, and then Varane is just slowly going up after Team of the Year. Then he really takes off ends up hitting 900k about mm, a month later, right? Varan, big name, out of pack special card. Same thing happened with Alawayrin, right? It's the, the cards that go up the most, and you see these crazy rises on, are the ones that are the most meta, the most popular, like kind of like we're talking about with the VVD and stuff. He went from 550 all the way to 880, right? Crazy rise there. But there could also be this, and I'm going to show you this graph too, because there's actually a really high percentage that something like this could happen as well, where you have a low point, early and you have a low point during team of the year too but you have this stories vvd remember this card last year 900k down to 880 right for the first weekend after team of the year starts he goes back up to 950 but then as the defender team of the years come out and as maybe the ramos was released and that caused some panic on center backs um whatever happened there was some really good content that made center backs drop or at least some of them and he went from 800 950k down to 830 and then he took off into the second half of team of the year after team of the year up into the 1.3 mil range so all i'm saying is when we're looking through a lot of these rare cards i'm looking at winter wild cards i'm looking at like thunderstruck team of the group stages right it's the big name players like jude bellingham this team of the group stage jude bellingham this is the best card apart from his probably team of the year version and his graph's been pretty stable between 630 and 670, but this is a card that after team of the year is probably going to take off a bit unless his team of the year is stupid cheap, which it's probably not going to be. So this maybe does, I guess, pertain to more of the expensive card part of the game, but it's a good time in general that if you are wanting somebody for your team that's an out of packs card from an older promo, that's still pretty good in meta, right? This is the week to be watching those cards, but I'm not buying until I actually see some drops, man. Like, yeah, I want to see some panic. That's what I want to see. Maybe it comes today with Team of the Year warm-up. Maybe it comes on Thursday like it did last year because, well, Team of the Year would be the next day of Friday, right? Whenever there is like a next level of a 5% drop, maybe it's a 10% drop. That's what you're looking for for one of these cards that you're wanting to invest in. Maybe it's an icon out of packs as well. And again, during team of the year is usually a pretty good time to buy some of those cards, but not everything really goes up during team of the year, right? We want to stay away from gold cards. We want to stay away for some of those lower rated cards that are going to get replaced or cards that are just kind of like fun for the here and now. You know, you got to be careful, but those big name players that are really hype from older promos, they're going to go up. So that's kind of the whole like situation that I want to talk with you guys about on the market for like the next day or two, because I do feel like there's plenty of these cards that couldn't end up going high. They could end up going higher in the next week or so. And I just want to prepare some of you guys that are looking to buy players for your teams before we get there. Now, before we get too involved in the market, and let's, let's talk about today's content, because there is a surprise today on Tuesday that not many people are talking about. We're going to learn who the next League One Player of the Month is going to be. Of course, we had Mbappe two months in a row. We had the 92, we had the 93. Are we getting a 94 Mbappe? Well, we're going to find out today because the winner is announced today at 6 p.m. It says UK time. Uh, this is the official French website, Trophies UNFP. The um, the company, the, the account, I don't even know what to call them. The, the organization that uh, announces and kind of controls all of the uh, awards for League One. This is going to be announced today. I think it was delayed last time. They said 6 p.m. and then it was like later or something like that. But Mbappe, Aubameyang, and Lacazette. We expect Aubameyang to win this for all those contributions, but you never know. But just watch out. The SBC shouldn't be today. Play of the Month Mbappe still has five days left on his card. I don't think the SBC is going to be dropping today. I think it's just announced today as well. 
League One Player of the Months are usually released on Wednesdays or Thursdays as well. So watch out for an announcement there. And then the Team of the Year warm-up SPCs, guys. That's it's not going to be a crazy day of content today, most likely. What would really bring the hype is if the 85 plus SPCs are dropped and it's like, wow, now we're really in preparing for team of the year mode and EA is, is like dropping a loading screen. You know, maybe that's a part of today's content since it wasn't yesterday. Like, I'm just waiting to see something in this game that says, hello, team of the year is coming this Friday, right? Because we've had leaks saying that it's this Friday, but we have no other confirmation. It just seems like it's coming this Friday. I still believe that it is. I don't doubt that. I just want to see something from EA Sports. Also, we've got to talk about evolutions. Are Evos done until team of the year? That's a question that I want answered as well because the leak said it was Sunday or it was Monday for the Icon Evo. That didn't happen. We're still waiting. Uh, I don't think the leakers are to blame for any of that. It's just um, when is it happening? And we know that Evo is like added to come per se, right? That's the leaker wordage. It's added to come, but it just hasn't dropped yet. So are Evos actually going to be done until we get to team of the year? I think it's possible. I wouldn't write it off, guys, because... They really want all the hype to be with Team of the Year. The one thing I will say, though, is we need, and I, we talked about this on stream, we need a Team of the Year Evo card design. That would be absolutely incredible. So really want to also show you the team yesterday. We got 11 wins in weekly. We did it on stream. We finished it up. Finished my Evo, Ryan Sessegnon, 5-star, five 5-star, five Pep's Legacy. What a combination for this card. He's going to play in the midfield. Beast of an item. Absolutely loving this card so far. Gonna enjoy trying him out in this in this game, hopefully this next weekend. And I opened my weekend league rewards and we have a new center back. We got very lucky from our 84 plus campaign pack. I opened the pack and said, yo, give me a Thundershock, please, EA, because everybody packs like Trailblazers from that, right? And somehow I packed Varan. Maybe it was because I have it on my transfer list that I was trying to trade with. Maybe there's a transfer list theory, but we got very lucky there. And I was very reluctant to bench Blanc. I'm gonna have to get used to Varan. I know Varan's always meta. But uh, don't look at my center backs. They look disgusting, right? A VVD and Varane, I have now become a meta rat. I don't love it, but, you know, it is what it is. And then I'm, I'm continuing my Team of the Year pack save. Anything that's 84+, plus, I'm trying to save it. I do have a couple 83-plus packs in here as well. And then, uh, yeah, like we talked about with the market at length, guys, there's going to be a lot to go over in these next couple of days. And uh, we're going to stay on top of it. But especially if you're on a lower budget, there's so many moves that we're going to be able to make. I know we talked a lot about like high budget stuff, expensive cards and all that jazz. There's going to be plenty of moves that we can make on all budgets during team of the year. And uh, we're getting very close to some of those moves being able to be made. So that's the video for today, though. EA, give us some team of the year content, man. We are ready. You're ready. I'm ready. We're all ready, right? That's what you said. We're all ready. So if you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Account. See you guys in the stream today. Peace. Out.